Respected member of the CBC, Madam Shobha El Shari, respected Director General of NASEN, Madam Rashida Hussain, senior officers, and my fellow probationers. The 63rd batch of IRS Customs and Central Excise Probationers is privileged to meet our Honorable President, Sri Pranam Mukherjee, sir, today. May I request the respected chairperson of CBEC, Madam Praveen Mahajan, to give the opening remarks. Honorable President of India, officers of Central Board of Excise and Customs, and young officers of 63rd batch of Customs and Central Excise. It is indeed a matter of the highest privilege for anyone to meet the President of the country. When such an occasion happens in the career of a young officer, that day is one of the foremost significance for the individuals concerned. Life, as someone said, is not a matter of milestones, but of moments. I can confidently state, sir, on behalf of all of us present here, that as moments go, today shall doubtless be one of the most significant and memorable days of all the probationers and all of us present here. Thank you, sir, for giving us this opportunity. Sir, the officers of this batch will soon be completing their training with the National Academy of Customs and Central Excise and Narcotics. They have received their inputs not only on technical matters, but also on managerial skills. The Academy has done its best to groom the officers for their overall personality development. And, sir, we are confident that they shall soon be ready to take up the challenges as guardians of the economic frontiers of India. Sir, today is extra special for them since they are meeting not only the Honorable President of India, but a person who, as Union Finance Minister, was instrumental in nurturing our service with great care. Under your dynamic leadership as Finance Minister, our service has covered many milestones and has acted as precursor of economic growth of the country. The service in general and the probationers of this batch in particular are thankful, sir, for the opportunities that you have accorded for capacity building on international best practices which they got even during the probation period. Sir, you have always valued human resources as one of the most important factors in efficient functioning of the government. And you have also emphasized the critical role which the youth occupy in this regard. On 30th November this year, sir, you had mentioned that the youth of India are the leaders of tomorrow. They shall aspire for higher standards of living, better service delivery, and increased transparency and accountability. They must, however, not only be the beneficiary of this change process, but also the drivers of it. And so then you emphasized that for this to happen, it is necessary that the state, in partnership with the private sector, provides opportunities for education, skill enhancement, and capacity building. We do believe, sir, that our young officers are trained to meet the emerging challenges of smuggling of drugs, arms and ammunition, apart from collection of revenue and checking evasion of duty. The officers are extremely eager to hear you and I have no intention of delaying that moment, sir. I therefore conclude by saying simply that the officers are set to embark on their careers 
and are going to be of tremendous value to our society and country. Sir, loftier the building, the deeper must the foundation be laid. This meeting with you, sir, is perhaps the most important stone in that foundation. Thank you. Thank you, madam. I now call upon our respected Director General of Nasin, Madam Rashida Hussain, to introduce the 63rd batch of IRS Customs and Central Excise Probationers to the Honorable President. Honorable President, respected Chairperson and Member CBEC, colleagues and dear officer trainees, I feel privileged to introduce the officer trainees of the 63rd batch of IRS Customs and Central Excise to the Honorable President of India. President Sir, it's a proud moment for the service that the young generation of officers are having audience of the head of the state. This is a momentous day at the start of their career. 96 gentlemen and 35 lady probationers, in all 131 officers from all over the country joined the 63rd batch in December 2011. Some of them had also undergone foundation course. The officers from nearly 20 states represent unity in diversity of culture in the family of IRS Customs and Central Excise. Nine officers left the service to join other services. At present, 111 officers, 28 lady officers and 83 gentlemen officers are undergoing training at National Academy of Customs, Excise and Narcotics, Faridabad and Mumbai. These 111 officers include five officers from the Royal Government of Bhutan. The batch comprises of 36% engineers, 29% humanities graduates, 11% science graduates, and also includes qualified doctors, lawyers, chartered accountants, MBA, and PhD. The lowest age of the trainees is 24 years, and the highest 35 years. The average age of this batch of probationers is 28 years. Sir, the officers joined the academy for undergoing professional training in December last year. They were put through two weeks of orientation module and were familiarized with the setup and functioning of the department. The officers have been given the technical inputs on customs laws and procedures, public finance, international trade and customs conventions, statutory and administrative law, and essential elements of administration. The training methodology includes theoretical inputs as well as field attachments with various custom houses and preventive formations. The officers were also put through one month of police arms, police arms and self-defense training with the Haryana Police Academy. President Sir, with a view to give an exposure to international best practices, the probationers were also sent for one week international attachment with the Maxwell School of Public Policy and U.S. Customs Formation. In the second half of the training, now they are being given inputs on central excise law and procedures, service tax law and procedures, accountancy and audit, and official language. The officers shall also be put on the job training with central excise and service tax field formations. They, sh they shall also be attached to the Army, Navy, Coast Guard, and Wildlife Institute of India. The trainees shall also be exposed to the working of CSTAC benches and DGCI formations. They have just finished one week appreciation course in parliamentary procedures during which they were exposed to various aspects of parliamentary processes like role of financial committees, parliamentary procedures and legislative processes. They were also able to witness the proceedings of the parliament. Sir, after their training, this batch is scheduled to be posted as assistant commissioners towards the end of May 2013. After handling independent charges, we invite them back for a three-week furbisher course before their formal passing out in the third week of September 2013. President Sir, I am confident that these officer trainees shall be enlightened with your words of guidance and encouragement. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. The last one year has been an enriching and fulfilling experience for all of us. Two probationers of our batch will now share their experiences before the Honorable President. I now request Ms. Swati Chopra to share her experiences. Honorable President of India, 
It is indeed a moment of honor and pride for me to be sharing the experience of the 63rd batch of Indian Revenue Service Customs and Central Excise Probationers in your distinguished presence. Coming from myriad corners of the country, we young officers have embraced the training program with great enthusiasm. Having received a diverse learning in all the theoretical and practical aspects of customs, central excise, service tax and narcotics, we are truly elated to be joining the Indian Civil Service at the time of a constructive change, a change which is being witnessed both nationally and globally. Honorable President, the batch would like to sincerely express its heartfelt gratitude to you for being so benevolent as the Union Finance Minister in approving our international attachment to the world's number one school of public policy, the Maxwell School in the US, just a few months back. The international exposure has indeed broadened our horizons at this very nascent stage of long career of nation building for us. As the future of our department, we do understand our integral role in tiding over the formidable challenges that face our country today. As our role evolves, it only grows closer to the vital bedrock of strengthening our national as well as financial security. We solemnly resolve, yet again in your esteemed presence, to live up to this task with utmost integrity, commitment and dedication to the nation. Jai Hind.